Hello everyone, today our topic is how to enroll student in Learn Dash on Stripe payment. So I use Stripe as my payment gateway and I sell online courses. So what I want is that whenever I'm going to receive a new payment from Stripe, then automatically by using that payment details, I'm going to first create a user in my WordPress account. And after creating that user, I'm going to enroll that user into a course in Learn Dash. So for that, I have to build a connection between Stripe, WordPress and Learn Dash. So for building this connection, I'm going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Pabli Connect, I have to use trigger and actions. In trigger application, I'm going to use Stripe. In action application, first I'm going to use WordPress. And in the last, I'm going to use Learn Dash. So how I'm going to build this connection for that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today we are going to see that how we can enroll student in Learn Dash on Stripe payment. So I'm using Stripe as my payment gateway and I'm selling courses through that. So what I want is that whenever I get a new Stripe payment for a particular course, then automatically I want to enroll that student into a course in Learn Dash. And I want this to happen automatically. So for that, I'm going to use Public Connect. And with Public Connect, I will build a connection between Stripe and Learn Dash. And I'm going to build this connection without any coding and programming skills. So Learn Dash is a LMS tool and we have Learn Dash as a plugin in WordPress. And for enrolling a student into a course in Learn Dash, we need to first create a user in WordPress. So let me show you how I'm going to do all this automatically. For that, I'm going to use Public Connect. And for using Public Connect, I have to open a new tab and first search for public.com slash connect. And this will take us to this landing page of Public Connect. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Public Connect, then you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundred of tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in and you will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I have to click here on this access now button under Pabli Connect. And this will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflows that we will create here. And this is the folder section. We can create new folder here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now here, I want to create a new workflow. For that, I have to click here on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Here, I have to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to enroll student in Learn Dash on Stripe payment. Now I have to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I'm going to open this tab and in this tab, I will find all the folders that I've created in my Pabli Connect account. And I'm going to use this particular folder of Stripe. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to click on create. And this will take us to this most important window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on and trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So we have to set up our trigger first and here my trigger application is going to be Stripe. So I'm going to select Stripe here and now I have to give a trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab and in this I have this option of checkout completed. So this is going to be my trigger event. So I'm going to select this. And now I have to connect Stripe with Pabli Connect. And for connecting Stripe, I'm going to use this Vabook URL, which is going to work as a bridge between Stripe and Pabli Connect. And now for connecting Stripe in my workflow, I have to follow all these instructions. So first I have to copy this Vabook URL. Now I have to take you to my Stripe account. And here I have to go to developers. Now I will go to Vabooks. And here I'm going to add my Vabook. So for that, I have to click here on this add endpoint. And now I have all these options. So first I have to give my endpoint URL. So I'm going to paste that Vabook URL that I've copied from Pabli Connect and that is going to be my endpoint URL. So I have to click here and I'm going to paste that here. Now I have to give a description. So I'm going to give a description as testing. And here I have to select the latest version. So I have to open this and this is the latest API version. So I'm going to select this and now I'm going to select my action event. So I have to click here on this select events and here I'm going to search for session checkout. So checkout session completed will be my event. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to click on add events. And now I'm going to click on add endpoint. So I have successfully added my webhook. Now what I need to do is I need to go back to public connect. And here we can see it is waiting for webhook response. 
So how I can get this web response? For that, I have to make a new payment or make a checkout by using Stripe. So for that, let me take you to Stripe. And here I will go to payment links. So here I have this payment link for this course of PHP and MySQL. So I'm going to use this particular link. So I'm going to copy this and I will open this in a new tab. So this is how my checkout page is going to look. Now here I have all these tabs. So I have to fill all these details of my students. So I'm going to give the email address. So my email will be michaelcarros12 at the rate pablitudes.com and I'm going to give a random mobile number. So this is going to be my mobile number. Now I have to give the first name of my student. So my first name will be Michael. Last name will be Karis. Now I have to give the card information to make the payment. So I'm going to give a test card number. I will give expiry date and a random CVC and my card holder name. So my card holder name will be Michael Karis and my country will be India. So I have to click on pay. And I have successfully created this payment. Now what I need to do is I need to go back to Public Connect. And here we can see I have received this response. So in this response, I have this ID. I have my status, which is of complete. And I have my student details. So this is the email address, which is michaelcarris12 at the rate pablitudes.com. I have the full name, which is Michael Karras. I have the phone number. I have the country region, which is INS. And this is the code for India. I have the first name, which is Michael. I have the last name, which is Karras. And in this, I have this payment link. So this payment link is the unique link for all my courses. So in my Stripe account, I have many products and I can receive payment for any course or any product. So for that, what I need to do is I need to first filter out this payment and I only want to receive the payment for my course, which is of PHP and MySQL so that I can enroll that student in a course of PHP and MySQL in my Learn Dash account. So for filtering out these payment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this payment link. So for that, what I have to do is I have to set up my actions tab. So I'm going to open this tab. And I'm going to use filter here. So I'm going to select that and I have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and filter values will be my action event. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to connect filter by Pabli with Pabli connect. So I'll click here on connect. And now I have these three tabs, select label, filter type and value. So here, what is going to happen is that I want to filter out my payments that I'm going to receive only for the course that is for PHP and MySQL course. So for that, what I have to do is I have to first select my label. So I have to open this tab. I'm going to open this response of Stripe. And in this response, I'm receiving this label of data object payment link. So I'm going to select this. And here my filter type is going to be equal to. And in my label, whenever I'm going to receive a particular payment link that is associated with my course, then only this filter will work. So we need to get that payment link that is associated with my course of PHP and MySQL. So for that, let me take you to my Stripe account first. I'm going to open this payment link of PHP and MySQL and here in the path URL, I have this P link. So I'm going to copy this and this P link is the unique link for this particular course, which is of PHP and MySQL course and no other product will have this particular P link. So I have copied this link and I'm going to go back to public connect and in the value, I'm going to paste that link. Now what is going to happen is that whenever I'm going to receive a new payment from Stripe, then in the response, if I have this label of data object payment link, and in that link, if I have the value of this P link, then automatically this filter will work and I'm going to get the status of success. And after that, this workflow will work. So now what I need to do is I need to click on save and send test request button. And here my status is success and my condition is true. So this means that I have this particular P link and I have received the payment for this particular course only. Now what I need to do is I need to enroll the student automatically to my Learn Dash account. So for that, what I have to do is I have to first create a user in WordPress. So I have to add an action tab here and here my action application is going to be WordPress. I'm going to select this. I have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and create a user will be my action event. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to connect WordPress with public connect. So I'll click here on connect. I will click on add new connection. And for connecting WordPress, I need the WordPress username, WordPress password and the base URL. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first give the base URL here. So for that, let me take you to my WordPress account. And here in the path URL, I have this base URL. So I'm going to copy all this until WP3. So I'm going to copy this. I will go back to public connect and I'm going to paste that here in this tab of base URL. So this is going to be my base URL. And now I have to fill the username and the password. So I'm going to fill that. 
So I have filled my username and password and the base URL. Now what I need to do is I need to click on save. And my connection here is successful. Now what I need to do is I need to fill all these tabs to create a new user in my WordPress account. So first I'm going to need the email address. So here I'm going to use the email address of my student that has made the payment in Stripe. So I have to use that detail. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to map the details of that Stripe payment here in these tabs. So I have to use mapping. So what mapping is mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous tabs and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping, I have to click here. I will open the response of Stripe and in this response, I have to search for the email address of my student. So I'm going to search for that. And this is the email address. So I'm going to map this. Now here I have mapped this particular email address. Now what is going to happen is that whenever I'm going to receive a new payment or a new response from Stripe, then automatically this data of this email address is going to get replaced and I'm going to get the new email address as I have mapped this data here. So after mapping this data, I have made this data dynamic. So every time I'm going to receive a new payment or a new response, then automatically all that data is going to get replaced. Now what I need to do is I need to give a username. So for the username, I have to click here. I will open the response of Stripe. And in this, I have the first name of my student. So this is the first name, which is Michael. And now I'm going to give underscore and I'm going to map the last name. So this is the last name, which is Karis. So this is going to be my username, which is Michael underscore Karis. And now I have to give a password. So for the password, I have to click here. And for the password, I'm going to use a combination of the first name of my contact. And after that, I'm going to give a text of at the rate one, two, three. So I have to open this response of Stripe. And this is the first name of my student. So I'm going to map this. And I'm going to give the combination of at the rate one, two, three. So this will be my password. Now I'm going to map the first name. I'm going to map the last name and the full name. So I have to click here. I will open the response of Stripe. And this is my full name, which is Michael Karras. So I'm going to map this. And now if I have any nickname, I can give that too and the description. So in the description, I'm going to give the description of student. So all these details are of a student that I want to enroll in a course in Learn Dash. So I have given my description as student and now I have to select the role. So I have to open this tab and I'm going to select the role of subscriber. So I have filled all the required details here. Now what I need to do is I need to click on save and send test token button. And here we can see I have received this response. And in this, I have received this user ID. So this means that I have created a new user automatically in my WordPress account. And this was the email address, which is michaelcarris12 at the rate pavlitudes.com. Now to check this, let me take you to my WordPress account. And here I will go to users. And now I have to search for my user, which is Michael Karras. So I'm going to search that. And here I have this user, which is Michael Karras. Name is Michael Karras. This is the email address, which is michaelcarris12 at the rate pavlitudes.com. I have the role, which is of subscriber. Status is of approved. And this user is not enrolled to any groups or courses yet. So these are the same details of the student that has made the payment by using Stripe. And I have used all those details of the payment to create a new user in WordPress. Now what I need to do is I need to use this WordPress user and I want to enroll this user as a student in my course in Learn Dash. So for that, let me take you back to Public Connect. And here I have to add one more action step. And my last action step is going to be learn dash. So I'm going to select that. And now I have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and enroll into course will be my action event. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to connect learn dash with public connect. So I'll click here on connect. I will click on add new connection. And again, I need the username, password and site URL. So I'm going to fill all these details. And for the site URL, I have to take you back to my WordPress account. And similarly, we are going to use the same URL that we have used for connecting WordPress with Public Connect. So we need to copy this URL from our path URL until WP3. So we are going to copy this. We'll go back to Public Connect and we are going to paste that here. Now we need the username and password. So we are going to give the username and password of our Lundash account. So these are my username and password. Now I have to click on save. And my connection here is successful. Now what I need to do is I need to first select my course ID. 
So I only have one course in my LearnDash account and I only want to use that particular course which is of PHP and MySQL. So I have already selected that. Now I have to give the user ID. So for giving the user ID, what I have to do is I have to first toggle on this map button and I'm going to clear this default response and I'm going to map the user ID that I have received by creating a new user in WordPress. So I have to click here. I will open the response of WordPress and this is the user ID. So I'm going to map this. And now after mapping this user ID, what is going to happen is that automatically this user will get enrolled into a course in Learn Dash. Now to check this, I have to click on save and send test request button. So here I have received this response. So in the response, I have this blank value. So this means that I have automatically enrolled this student into a course, which is of PHP and MySQL in Learn Dash. Now to check this, let me take you back to my WordPress account. And here, this was my user. So I'm going to refresh this. And here we can see that I have enrolled this user automatically to a course. So I'm going to open that course. And this user was enrolled to this course of PHP and MySQL. So here we can see that I have automatically used all the details of that payment that I have received from Stripe. And after using that payment, I have created a new user in WordPress. And after creating that user, I have enrolled a student into a course in my LearnDash account. So here my connection between Stripe and LearnDash is working successfully. And whenever I'm going to receive a new payment from Stripe, then automatically I'm going to enroll a student into a course in LearnDash. Now to check this in real time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my Stripe account and I'm going to open this PHP and MySQL course link again. And I'm going to make a new payment. So here my email will be John Elvis one, two at the rate pablitudes.com. I'm going to give a random mobile number. Now I'm going to give the first name. So my first name will be John last name will be Elvis. And now I have to give the card information. So I'm going to give a test card number. Similarly, I'm going to give a test expiry date, random CVC and the cardholder name, which is going to be John Elvis. And my country is already selected. Now I have to click on pay. And here I have successfully made this payment for this course of PHP and MySQL. Now to check whether we have enrolled the student into a course in our LearnDash account or not. For that, let me take you to my WordPress account. And here I will go to users. And again, I'm going to search for my user, which is John Elvis. And here we can see I have created this new user, which is named as John underscore Elvis. Name is John Elvis. Email is John Elvis 14 at the rate pablitudes.com. Role is of a subscriber. Status is approved. And we have automatically enrolled this user into a course in Learn Dash. So I'm going to show you that course. So the course is of PHP and MySQL. Now here we can see that whenever we are receiving a new payment from Stripe for a particular course of PHP and MySQL, then automatically we are going to enroll that student into a course in Learn Dash. So here our automation and our workflow is working successfully and we have created this connection between Stripe and Learn Dash. Now let's go back to Public Connect. And here whenever we are going to receive a new Stripe payment, then automatically we are going to enroll a student in Learn Dash account. Now let's summarize what we did here. So first I have set up my trigger and my trigger application was Stripe and my trigger event was checkout completed. Then I have set up my actions tab and in this I have first used filter by Pabli to filter out the payment that I want to use only for a particular course that is of PHP and MySQL. After that I have used WordPress as my action application and my action event was create a user. And in the last I have used Learn Dash as my action application and my action event was enroll into course. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. And thank you for watching this video. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this by using Pabli Connect. So if you want to reach out to us, then email us at support at the rate And if you have any queries, then you can write us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any issue with the pricing, then you can visit this link. And if you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.